Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the topic verbal analogies. Okay. So uh, in this, we will be given with a, a relation like this. Like for example, grain uh, is to salt. Then the following options will be given. We have to choose the most close option to the given question. Okay. So I uh, will be discussing some questions in this uh, topic, and uh, then we'll be winding up the uh, verbal ability topic. Okay. So if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay. So let's get started. Grain is to salt. Uh, the most closest option is chip is to glass. Okay, because uh, salt, uh, like how how does salt exist in the form of grains? And what is a, a glass? If you break the glass, it will form into small chips. Okay, thrust is to sphere, fence is to EP. Okay, pain uh, sedative and uh, grief consolidation means sedative is the thing which reduces pain. So grief is to consolidation because consolidation reduces grief. Light is to blind and so speech is uh, speech is to dumb. Pork is to pig, mutton is to sheep, after is to before, successor is to predecessor, intelligent, uh, indigent is to wealthy, indigent means poor, so ganache is to graceful, distance is to mile, distance is uh, like uh, the unit is mile, the unit of liquid is liter, so uh, uh, liquid is to liter, 10 is in decimal, so 2 is in binary, uh, army is to logistics, means the way of handling the army. And so way of handling the business is strategy. So it is business is to strategy. Gravity, what does gravity do? It pulls. So magnetism attraction. So that's the uh, correct answer. And filter is to water. So filter uh, like filters the water. And uh, sensor sensors the play. Okay. And hope aspires. So fib lie. Symphony composer. Who composes the symphony composer? And uh, fresco is nothing but a water paint. So who does uh, the water paint? The painter. Okay. So this was a pretty simple one. We just have to choose the most uh, closest uh, word, which is in the uh, uh, means the coherent relation. So if you know the uh, meanings of the words, so you can solve this easily. Okay. So that's all for this video, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.